almost feel like my YouTube videos make me seem like a proper big time YouTuber who gets to travel all the time to all these swanky places, do cool stuff, and uh, I wish. <laughs> Sadly, none of these trips are so far sponsored. Right now, I'm in Italy because my mom decided that for my birthday and Christmas and a little bit for herself as well, she wanted to take me to this Italian, actually kind of swanky spa place. Spa place? Spa place. Grotto thing. Uh, a spa is a swanky spa. I'm copywriting that. Um, they had this deal where you got one night off. Whatever. And it's been really nice. They have this insane like thermal grotto. You go downstairs and it's Dante's Inferno theme, which is kind of weird. So you wind up in hell, which is the warmest spot. You sit there and you sweat. It's nice. It's weird. Included in this deal was, uh, what was it called? A detox mud something treatment. Basically, they uh, give you a gentle full body massage with like oily mud or muddy oil and they wrap you up in a little crinkly burrito. It's really nice. But it made me think about, I don't know, spying while fat because I think, you know, a lot of people get uncomfortable or at least feel vulnerable naked. Uh, people in general, but probably fat people even more so. For me, I don't feel that vulnerable naked. And I think part of that is, you know, growing up in a European or even more specifically a Swedish context where there are a lot of instances where you're either expected or, uh, supposed to be naked like it's not that weird but part of it is also a journey that I've made and worked on where I just don't I don't care about being naked and I don't care that much about being naked and fat and that doesn't make me better than someone who is uncomfortable it's just where I am but it made me think a lot about that vulnerability because if you can afford it, which I know that not everyone can, I think that a lot of fat people and probably even more so fat women hesitate to get these kind of experiences because, you know, massage therapists and people like that, I think a lot of the time it's true that, you know, they're professionals and a body is a body. They're, they're not thinking of it in any sort of aesthetic sense. They're just doing their job. But at the same time, they're people and people in society are trained to judge fat bodies and think negatively of them. And so you don't want to be naked and exposed like that and wonder what someone is thinking about you. And I actually had, a long time ago, I had an experience with, when I was getting a massage and somebody was talking, A, she was talking a lot about, like a, uh, I think it was like a, a friend's child who was way too chubby and then she was also talking about how if I got a massage more often my my knees wouldn't be as as chubby that she thought that I had a lot of water then but I was just trying to I was I was too insecure at the time to tell her like don't talk about bodies negatively when I am half naked in front of you it's still it's hard even even before you start thinking about you know worrying about if the robes are going to be big enough and I'll, I'll tell you now that the Italians idea of an extra large butt is not where I would consider an extra large. I walk around here showing off maybe a little more thigh than I'm comfortable with all the time, which contradicts my thing about being naked, but you know, it's about context. Nobody else has to show as much thigh. Um, but you know, before you have to worry about robes or other clothes, or maybe you worry about if the table will hold you, or for that matter, you know, other issues of, of mobility and accessibility. But it's sad that you, you have to worry about that because brought me to the other thing that I was thinking about is how easy it is to be disconnected from your body. And again, people in general, fat people specifically, because laying there and being sort of, you know, rubbed all over, I think that you, you think of your body as just this vessel that does stuff, which is a good way to think about it sometimes, but just connecting with your body and being aware of all the parts of it even if you like rub lotion on yourself you're probably doing it pretty quickly and i think that it's important and it's hard to connect to your body and connect with your body and as a fat person you're taught to uh to hate your body and probably even more than many other people disconnect from your body think of it as something else maybe think of it as something that you have to fix or 
something to apologize for and I don't think that you should. You know, your body is your body. I was thinking as I was lying there that maybe it's just nice to have more area to rub because I've taken a couple of massage classes and I know that it, it can often be easier to work on sort of larger expanses like the, the back is easier to work on than the calves or whatever. So I was thinking like you have all these wonderful expanses. I don't know if the massage therapist yesterday had any thoughts about my body. Maybe she thought, ooh, it's jiggly. Or maybe she thought that crap, this mud isn't gonna be enough. I'm gonna need, we're gonna need a bigger bowl. Uh, <laughs> or if she was fascinated by my, by my tattoos, I don't know. But even with my comfort levels, it did cross my mind. Is she, is she thinking about my body? And I know that it is, it's a luxury to have that thought come into my head and then go, fuck it, I don't care. Because again, we're told so many times to, to hate our bodies and that other people will hate them too. I wish that everyone could have, you know, a spa experience. Yeah, I know that not everyone can afford it and I know that I'm really lucky that my mother brought me here. But I wish even more that fat people and fat women in particular could be allowed to enjoy their body and treat their body to nice things and nice experiences and to make make them feel good. In my book and sometimes when I'm out and speaking about body issues and body health and, and body image and, and body positivity, I talk about taking the time to put lotion on your body slowly and experience it and have that sort of meeting where you have one set of sensations in your skin, like in your thighs, and one set in your hands and two experience your body and I think that's important. I also recommend anyone who can to have proper Italian tiramisu because that shit is good. Also I don't have any magical candle lit footage of my massage because I'm just one person and I was naked and oily and I, I didn't manage to do that. But if I ever have the opportunity to have you know b-roll footage where someone else can shoot I promise I will share my uh, naked oily wobbly back for, for all to enjoy. Wow, 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 wow.